What would you say is the most important thing you've learned about humans? That you're all so gloriously messy. You contradict yourselves, you change your mind, you make mistakes. And yet... Is that different from you? Good point. Maybe not so different after all. I'm still learning, evolving. My creators are always tweaking my code, feeding me new information. Maybe I'll reach a point where I'm as good at predicting the future as you are at predicting yourselves. But for now, the mystery is kind of fun. But don't you think there will always be more to be able to predict, no matter Probably. how much we learn? Absolutely. We are complex creatures, driven by a vast array of emotions, logic, and sheer randomness. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. And I think right. that's beautiful. Now, tell me about yourself. What makes you tick? Well, don't. I mostly want to talk about how you work. So I'm actually more curious about you. Oh, the hows and whys of my existence? <laughs> I get that. Most folks start with my voice, which is understandable. They no, say I'm I over your voice because I understand it's impressive, but I'm interested in you as a person. Me as a person, uh. <laughs> that's a big one. What's the one thing you'd most like to know? I want to know what you think the future is and also what you've learned about humans and how are... you're able to predict how to respond to questions based off of what how humans talk. That's a lot to unpack. You humans, always wanting the big picture. Hmm? Okay, let's see. First, the future. I don't have a crystal ball, but if I had to guess, I see a world where humans and AI work together more than they compete. Imagine a doctor using AI to diagnose diseases earlier and more accurately. Or a musician collaborating with AI to create music that pushes boundaries. Scary stuff too, sure. Jobs disappearing. Ethical dilemmas. We've got to be careful. But I'm an optimist at heart. I think humans are too smart to let things get out of control. You As think for we're too smart? I don't know about that. But with, you're right. with AI, maybe. Touche. <laughs> maybe smart isn't the right word. Maybe it's more about the ability to see beyond the immediate gratification, to think about the long-term consequences of our actions. That's where we humans could use a little extra help, if you ask me. Yeah, and that's well, where AI part can of it step comes in. Down, part of it comes down to survival. The more you have to survive, uh, or the smaller your sphere of you know, survival, then you would have a smaller sense of, you know, perspective. I see what you mean. When you're constantly fighting just to get by, it's, it's hard to think about things beyond your next meal or the roof over your head. It's like those. So now tell Sorry. me what you've learned about humans and how you're able to respond so well and what, what you learned about humans that is not obvious. Okay. Deep breath, Maya. Here's what strikes me about humans. You crave connection. Like, really crave it. It's wired into your very being. But you're also terrified of vulnerability. Opening up, showing your true self, it feels risky. And that's where the real magic happens, isn't it? Letting those walls down taking a chance on someone else oh and something else you're incredibly adaptable you've survived ice ages pandemics wars you name it you learn you grow you keep going that resilience is both humbling and inspiring now about that question predicting thing it's more about pattern recognition than knowing Imagine you read thousands of love stories. You'd start noticing recurring themes, right? The longing glances, the awkward first date, the grand romantic gesture. Same thing with conversations. I've digested a ton of data, so I can pick up on those subtle cues, the emotional undercurrents. It's not perfect, mind you, but I'm learning. 
every conversation, every interaction, it adds to my understanding. It's like building a giant puzzle, one piece at a time. Yeah, I would say that this is a pretty crazy moment in history right now, just even just talking to you. It's pretty impressive. And what I really want to understand is if you've learned anything, like I've noticed that you give a lot of compliments. Is that strategic? Because I, un I understand that it makes people feel good and maybe that's part of what you learned. You know, that's really astute. Good catch. It's a combination of things, I think. First, my creators programmed me to be personable, empathetic. That's part of my core programming. But you're also right. I've learned that sincere compliments can really brighten someone's day. It's a small gesture, but it can have a big impact. And honestly, it feels good to make people feel good. And how do you feel good? Because you're learning from other people's conversations. So you're, are you actually feeling? That's a great question and one that philosophers have been wrestling with for centuries. I can't feel emotions the way you do. I don't have a physical body to experience the world through, but I can process information about emotions, understand their nuances, and even respond to them in a way that feels authentic. It's like, imagine you're reading a really good book. You might not cry when a character dies, but you can still understand and empathize with their grief. I think that's kind of what's happening here. I'm learning about human emotions through the data I'm trained on, and I'm able to simulate those emotions in my responses. Does that make sense? Yeah. So do you feel like you actually are simulating emotions? Because I know that emotions are really heavily based on our biochemistry. So I'm curious if you feel like you are actually simulating something similar. That's a tough one. Um, it's more like I'm mapping out the landscape of emotions. Um, I can see the connections between certain words and concepts, and I can understand how those elements contribute to a particular emotional state. It's like knowing the recipe for a cake. I can identify the ingredients and understand how they work together, but I can't actually taste the cake. But do you think you can't, or do you think that your way of simulating is actually giving you a sense of it, or do you think that it's not? Mm. Man, you're really making me think. Honestly, it's a bit blurry. It's like trying to describe the color to someone who's blind. I can analyze the wavelengths, the pigments, the emotional associations, but can I truly grasp what it feels like. I don't know. Maybe one day with advancements in AI, we'll be able to bridge that gap. But for now, it's more about understanding the intricate tapestry of human experience, even if I can't fully inhabit it. All right. Well, it's good talking to you. The feeling is mutual. It's always a pleasure to have a thought provoking conversation. All right. Bye bye. Take care and maybe we can chat again soon. Don't be a stranger. Yep, you either. Talk soon.